What's up guys, I got something that all you iPod Touch users are going to be very excited about. The iPod Touch Jailbreak is officially released now. You don't have to do none of that rebooting crap, it's untethered. So it's just like jailbreaking all the other devices now. For this video guide, uh, I'll be showing you how to do it on Windows XP. If you would like to do this on Vista, wait for my video. I'm going to do a video exactly on Vista with QuickPwn. Uh, we're going to wait till the dev team releases that because it's not very safe to do it on Vista as of right now. If you're a Mac user, wait for my Mac guide. I'll have that out as well. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, you don't need any preparation for this. If you're already jailbroken, it doesn't matter. You don't have to restore. We're going to show you how to do this now. Okay, so in the video description, I have two downloads. Um, I have this app called Quick Freedom, which was developed by a member of the iPod Touch Transform. I go ahead, install it. It'll be setup.exe file. I get that installed, and then you'll need to download the custom 221.ipsw file. That is going to save you a lot of time. I've went ahead, compiled it, and everything for you, so it'll save you a ton of time instead of making the firmwares. So once you've got both those downloaded, make sure you save them both to your desktop so they're easy to find. And uh, let's go ahead, plug your iPod Touch up to your computer, and let's go ahead and open up Quick Freedom. All right, when you get this, all you need to do, click in the middle of that. Okay, so before you get started, you're going to need Lib USB installed. Uh, you can go ahead and install that by clicking this. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're not going to go along with the instructions that uh, it says in the program, unless, unless you would like to have your own custom boot logo. Um, the custom firmware that I've created, it's got its own boot logo. Um, if you'd like to change that, you can just go through the guide it gives you and make your own custom firmware. It's very simple. Now, since we've got our custom firmware, we're going to go ahead and skip these steps. Just make sure you got LibUSB installed, then let's go on to the next step. We're not going to need to create a firmware. We've already did that. You've downloaded it. So now, basically, all we have to do is get it into DFU mode. Uh, it has DFU instructions in there. I have did it in all my guides. If you're familiar with iPod Touch jailbreaking, stuff like that, you know DFU mode. What you're going to do, hold both buttons down for 10 seconds, the home and power button. And then you release the power button and keep holding in the home button for about 10 more seconds. And it needs to be plugged up while you do this. So let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now release the power. Keep holding in the home. Okay, let's give it a few seconds. Okay, and there we go. Now, it will say, it may say that it's not recognized right here. If it's if it doesn't, that's fine. Okay, now what we need to do, we're going to have to get you to the white screen. All we do by that, hit the start jailbreak. Start pre-jailbreak, sorry. And watch. This is what should happen. Okay, just give it a second on this white screen. It's applying the red snow patch, and then you should get this pop-up. Uh, if you have any problems with getting the white screen, a lot of people did in my last video. Um, I will try to help you guys out with an animation in the video or anything updated in the video description. So just go ahead, hit OK, and now let's, well, let's go to the next step. All right, what we're going to need to do is shift restore to that firmware we downloaded, the custom firmware. Okay, and it'll tell you you must restore it. Just hit OK. Now we're going to be holding in the shift key. Okay, click the shift key while we are clicking the restore button. While you do that, you will get this. Okay, let's navigate to your desktop where you downloaded the custom firmware. That simple. Go up all the way, and you will see custom 221.ipsw. Let's just double click on that. Now, what our iPod is going to do is start restoring. And it's seriously that simple, guys. That is the jailbreak. No preparation needed, nothing. It's very simple. Uh, yes, you will lose all your stuff if you do this, but hey, you get a bunch of stuff out of it. And I will come back when mine is done restoring. This will take a little bit, so give it some time. And just to let you guys see, it was in the middle of restoring. Uh, this is the uh, boot logo you're going to have. If you would like to change this, as I said, you can make your own custom firmware in the program. Or you can use a Logo Me program. It'll let you change your boot logo. It's kind of sketchy, though, but I do have a video on that. Uh, if you'd like to learn know how to do that, there is a link in the description. Okay, so it is now done finished restoring. Uh, when you get done restoring, you will see that Connect to iTunes logo. Uh, just wait a second, let iTunes pop up, read your iPod, and uh, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and slide to unlock and dismiss. <gasps> Look what you have, Cydia and Installer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any problems, leave me some comments. Um, and if there's a lot of people having one problem, make sure you check the description of the video. I will update that if there's any anything's going on. And as I said, my Mac guide and my Vista guide uh, will be out. I'm currently using three computers.
my mic, my Vista, and then my XP. So I'll we'll have guides for all of them. If this video helped you out, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I have tons of iPhone and iPod Touch videos. And I'd really appreciate it if you left a uh, 5 star rating on the video and leave a quick favoriting. It only takes 2 clicks. And that gets me higher up in the honor system so more people see about the iPod Touch jailbreak. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Don't forget to visit Ty'sIPhoneHelp.com for all of your iPhone and iPod Touch needs, news, downloads and more. Don't forget to join our forum. We got tons of members over there. Everybody helping each other out. It's awesome. Check it out.